Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Sports Update. Hello everyone, welcome to Sports on Location. I'm Brian Nestle. And I'm Dion Allen. Thanks for joining us. For the fourth time in program history, the field hockey team laid claim to the conference champions. They defeated rival Gwyn and Mercy 2-1 on Saturday, November 5th for the CSAC Championship and coveted spot in the NCAA Tournament. It's the second consecutive title for the Cavaliers, who knocked off the Griffins last season in the finale, and the second time the program has won two straight championships, having done so in 2009 and 2010. All three goals came in a four-minute span in the second half. Alex Swallow scored in the 37th minute to start the scoring for the Cavs. But after a quick answer from Gwynedd, Jackie Neary hit the net in the 42nd minute to put Cabrini ahead for good. Neary was named Championship Game MVP for her efforts. Goalkeeper Taylor Bookman made 11 saves on the day. The Cavs looked to record their first ever win in the NCAA tournament on Wednesday, November 9th, when they traveled to Connecticut and faced number 10 Trinity. As for Cabrini Volleyball, they clinched their fourth straight CSAC title when they went over second seed at Keystone College three sets to two. The first title match since 2012 to be decided in a fifth set. The Lady Cavaliers' epic battle included 29 ties and 13 lead changes. Named most valuable player, Emily Shannon carried the lead as she provided a monstrous double-double with 22 kills and 17 digs. The Lady Cavaliers have been automatically entered into the 2016 NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament starting Friday, November 11th, in which they'll head to number 16, Mary Washington, in Virginia. Fall sports are wrapping up, and you know what that means. No, not red cups from Starbucks, Dion. <laughs> Basketball season, of course. The CSAC men's basketball preseason rankings were revealed on Tuesday, November 8th, with each of the league's 10 coaches voting in the poll. Cabrini was picked to finish towards the top of the standings, tied for second with Gwyn and Mercy with 88 points. Coach Tim McDonald's squad received two first place votes in the preseason rankings. The Cavaliers finished 16 and 11 last season, 13 and 5 in conference play before bowing out to Newman in the conference semifinals. The Newman Knights were picked to finish first in this season. Cabrini opens up their season with the Battle of Eagle Road when they host Eastern University Tuesday, November 15th at Nerdy Fieldhouse. Cabrini field hockey team, as we alluded to earlier, just won their second consecutive CSAC title. But for a deeper understanding of the game itself, we talked to a few former players and their head coach. Although field hockey is a popular sport here at Cabrini University, not a lot of casual fans understand the game, so we talked to a few coaches and players to find out why. I definitely think people think it's very confusing. There are definitely like a lot of different rules compared to other different um, sports in the fall. A lot of times they, I don't think they think it's fan friendly. It's hard to understand the rules. It's very big over in Europe. Um, you know, in the U.S. it still hasn't, I guess, caught on as much. But I think people that play it and families that are exposed to it, especially when it's played on a AstroTurf like surface, it's a great game. It's fast. It's exciting. It's low scoring, so that might be why it's not as you know, loved by, you know, everybody, but for the people who play it, we, we thoroughly enjoy it. So the basics of the game is, once again, like soccer, you really just, you're, you have a line of forwards, midfielders, and defenders, and you're just trying to work the ball down, you're trying to spread the field out, you know, spread out the opposing team, then enter the circle, draw penalty corners, so a penalty corner, I guess, would be the same as a, you know, for men's and women's soccer, how they do the, the kick. There's three different shots basically that a forward, I mean anyone on the field really can use. Um, there's definitely a drive which I use mainly to cross the ball into the middle where a slap is more, if you don't have the time to wind up, the slap is more of a quick um, slap shot. And then a push is if like you're aiming for that top corner of the post. The hardest part is one, having the fear of letting your team down because that is your position to keep the ball out. Two, having to face hard stops like strokes are really hard favorite thing about the game of field hockey for me it's um the cabrini players it's being part of you know cabrini university so uh, you know i'm the type that when i talk to alumni that played here 19 years ago i don't remember the scores but i remember the funny things that went on in the field with you know with my players so that my favorite my favorite part is relationships that i get to develop field hockey is a growing sport in this country even at the olympic level the United States national field hockey team didn't medal in the 2016 Olympics, but they defeated highly ranked Argentina and Australia. As for Cabrini men's soccer team, they couldn't win a second consecutive CSAC title following the Centenary University 3-0 in New Jersey this past weekend. The Cavaliers finished with 16 shots on goal but could not find the netting. As for Centenary, they earned the conference's automatic bid into the NCAA tournament, but although the Cavaliers fell, their season continues for at least one more game. 
as they travel to Lebanon Valley College on Saturday, November 12th in the first round of ECAC tournament action. The men's and women's cross-country teams will compete in the NCAA Mideast Regional Championships on Saturday, November 12th at the Sales University. The men are led by sophomore Andrew Sinet, who finished the 8-kilometer course in 9th place out of 65 runners and earned second team all CSAC honors. On the women's side, Christina Giles was named to the CSAC all-sportsmanship team. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Sports On Location. Make sure you follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, we have it. Join us next time on Sports On Location. I'm Brian Nestle. And I'm Dion Allen. Have a great week, Cabrini.